Hi, I'm Jimmy, and today I'm doing my Nintendo. Nintendo? Nintendo! And I'm doing my November book haul. I got 30 books to show you guys, so I'm gonna have to talk fast, um, but bear with me. If you miss something, uh, it's all down in the description. So the first book I picked up is the final book in the Beautiful Creature series, Beautiful Redemption by Kemi Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I've only read the first two books in the series, so I don't really know what this one's gonna be about. The next book I got, I believe it's part of a trilogy, and it's the first book, and it's Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and... and Sayoban Vivian. This is a contemporary drama about some girls who want to get revenge on a guy. I feel like it'll be similar to John Tucker Must Die, but I picked that one up because it was on sale. I got the next book in the Lorian Legacies series by Pedicus Lore, and it's The Fall of Five. Um, the next book I have is the fourth book in the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan, The House of Hades. I picked up the first two books in Robin Lefevre's His Dark Assassin, and it's Grave Mercy and Dark Triumph. These books are set in the 1400s um, in Brittany, which is just on the west coast of France. In this world, Death has many daughters, and they become master assassins because he gives them special gifts. The first book is about Ishmael, and she goes to court, and she basically has to save Brittany from invading forces on France side and another side. And the second book is about Sabella, and how she deals with her past, and she has to save, obviously, the country again. And speaking of assassins, I picked up Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I want to read this one so bad. Like, oh my god, this cover is fantastic. I haven't ordered the second one to this yet, and I'm gonna wait because here you can't get the paperback yet. I mean, I could get it from, like, the UK, but I want this cover, not the one with white. Like, you know, like, this, this version in orange, um, that's all orange, not the one that's, like, orange with, like, the white on the outside. But, ugh, she looks so awesome. I'm seriously debating doing a cosplay of this. Because that is just freaking fantastic. It's about a girl named Selenia, and she did something, I'm not sure what it is, but she did something, and she's probably got like a bounty or something like that on her head. So she goes to the king who rules on the throne of glass, um, and says, well, what do you want me to do to earn my freedom? And she ends up getting put into a sort of competition where she has to kill a bunch of people. And then through a series of events involving a prince and stuff like that, she ends up being the person who's supposed to save the world. Uh, so, everybody's raving about this, and I, I want to read it so bad. I also picked up Jennifer Eccles' Such a Rush. This book is about a girl who learns to fly planes in this private company of this really nice man. But when he dies, the company goes over to his teenage sons, and she has to sort of deal with that. I picked up Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I have not read Divergent or Insurgent yet, but now that I have all three, I can just marathon the series. I picked up a murder mystery, uh, Ripper by Stephen Petrarch. This is about a boy who was orphaned and adopted by a detective, and he lives in New York now, and now he's trying to track down and find a serial killer. These next two were in the bargain bin at Superstore, and it's Jane Green's Another Piece of My Heart. And in M. Banks' Surface Detail, I didn't realize, this is like the ninth book in some series, so I won't be able to read this one for a very long time, because um, I'd have to collect all the rest of them, but it looked sci-fi-y. I didn't read the synopsis since it's the ninth book in the series, but I also picked up this one. It was cheap on sale on Amazon, and it's Ember and Ash by Pamelia Freeman. This next one I'm really excited for. Um, it's The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. This one has been compared to Alice in Wonderland so much and Narnia, whatever. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one. It's got these adorable, adorable headers. Like these awesome pictures. But, um, I already ordered the second one, um, but it's coming to me in the mail and it won't get here for a while. Because I wanted paperback since I bought this one in paperback. And Amazon's like, no, we can't ship that to you for like a month. Um, I was sort of feeling the fantasy type genre, so I picked up Kristen Kishore's Grace thing. Everybody has a set of powers. They call them their grace. 
Some people probably can sing very well, can talk in different languages, whatever. This one is about Krista and her power is killing people, basically. So she becomes an assassin to the king. I picked up S.A. Godin's compound. Uh, it's about a boy named Eli and his family. They are living in a compound underground. They've been there for six years and things are starting to go awry and they're not really sure if they're safe anymore and the outside world does not seem like an option. Um, so, mm. I picked up the first two books in the Magicians tri Trilogy by Liev Grossman and it's The Magicians, which I've already started reading, though I'm only about like 20 pages in, and the second book is The Magician King. Um, these ones have been compared to Harry Potter, to Narnia, to basically everything. Um, some people say they're really good, some people say they're really bad. Um, I'm not incredibly loving it so far, but I'm not hating it either. Um, it's about a boy named Quentin, and he is really, really smart, but he is still obsessed with a set of children's books that he read when he was a kid, and I guess they're supposed to mirror Harry Potter, even though Harry Potter is mentioned in this. And he ends up getting accepted to a magic school. You'd think everything would be great, but it's not. He still feels empty inside until he finds out that the world where his childhood books were set in it's actually real. Another one on sale on Amazon, which is Sweethearts by Sarah Zar. Um, it's about a couple of outcasts. One of them's name is Jennifer and the other is Cameron. And when they were little, Cameron went missing and Jennifer had to deal with it and move on. Um, and she's now in high school, I believe. I think so. But anyway, Cameron suddenly reappears and it throws Jennifer through a loop. Uh, it's a really short read. I think it'll be really nice, sort of contemporary. And uh, the next book I got is Marcus Suzak's The Book Thief. I've already read this, but the movie's coming out soon, so I wanted to reread it. I never owned a copy, so I picked up this one. Another one that was on sale, and I didn't take the sticker off. Uh, it's The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. It's got it's got it's got leafed edges. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't think this one really needs explaining. This one was on sale as well. Um, Coraline B. Cooney's Diamond in the Shadows. This one is about an African American family who is sponsored to go and live in America. I picked up the first two books in the Once Dead Twice Shy trilogy by Kim Harrison and it's Once Dead Twice Shy and Early to Death, Early to Rise. These are about a girl who dies and then comes back. I'm guessing it's going to be like high school drama mixed with dealing with a reaper. Again, feeling the magic. I picked up the first two books. I think there's three of these are out. I don't have the third one. I picked up the first two. Oh, that's book two. This is book one. Um, in Stephanie Burgess, I don't know what this series is called, Cat Incorrigible and Renegade Magic. It's about a girl whose family is sort of falling apart, but she has magic powers and she's trying to keep them all together. Um, at least that's what the first one's about. And the covers are adorable. Like, what's the front? What's the back? The front? Like, how freaking adorable is that? Like, oh my god. They should make these into a movie. They should get the person who did these covers and be like, hey, animate our movie. This next one, I am so excited to read this. It didn't get a very good rating on Goodreads. Sorry, I left the sticker on again. Ugh, I hate stickers. The Door to Lost Pages by Claudia La Lumiere. Oh, she's French. So, the premises behind this one is a girl named Addie runs away from home on her 10th birthday and she takes refugee in a bookshop. But it's not really a regular bookshop. There are all these creatures inside of it and it's basically like it's like Narnia, but the whole bookshop is Narnia. I picked up the second book in the Across the Universe trilogy by Beth Revis, A Million Sons. And yes, I bought the crappy copy. Um, I would have gotten the one with the awesome spine, but the original one that I have, um, it doesn't match any of them. It's just some random copy. Uh, it doesn't. It's not this cover, and it's not the really pretty cover. Um, so I guess it really didn't matter. And this one was cheap, so I got it. 
and last book I picked up, I wanted to read this one so long ago, but I never picked it up, and is Isaac Merriam's Warm Bodies. It's about a zombie named R, if you didn't know, and he falls in love with a girl named Julie, but she's human and he's a zombie, and things get complicated. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you. Um, 30 bucks in total. That's all of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.